Okay, pilots. I'm going to put some LEDs in my wing here. I'm going to put my landing lights and I'm going to replace the marker lights, navigation lights that didn't work. I don't know why they didn't work. They just didn't work. They had real small bulbs in them anyway, so I would have put my FMS bulbs in it. I've got to go in here real nice and easy and I cut this wire. Because all I've done was just pulled the LED back out this way, cut the LED off of the wire, and I'm going to use the wire to pull my new lead down through the wing. And I had to cut this hole a little bit bigger to get that plug through. Okay, let's see if I go through. Going through little ribs through there, so it's gonna get, maybe get hung on something. Um, eventually get through there. to the fuselage. I'll have just enough air to hook something to the light control that I got. Speaker wire, real thick wire. Okay. I'm just going to put something in here and make sure that don't go anywhere. Now the landing light. Right here. Now these. In the frame and inside here, there's like three holes. Well, there's three holes and then there's a, the, the frame rail. Okay. Let me get around this way. Maybe you can see what I'm talking about. That gear's gonna be going nuts too. All right, the, the hole in the middle is what I'm aiming for, the center of it, because a little bit of the wing will be sliding into the fuselage, so you gotta remember that. And I'm, I'm wanting my landing light to be right up against next to the fuselage because I hadn't checked the other LED that's in the nose of the plane. I might have to change it out. It might not work. It's, a, it's supposedly a clear light. But what I'm gonna do is try to drill a hole here well, I knew I'd laid it down for some reason. And hit the center of that center hole. I'm going to use real small bits here to try to find that. soft right in here. Didn't take much. 
much to get through. Moving that bit around just to make sure I'm pretty close to the center. Close to center, I got a size of a bit here. Now what I want to do with the drill is just kind of go through the hole, go in an angle, go around, go around. I do that. Get a bigger bit. I'm not going all the way through. I'm not going all the way through. I'm just kind of using it to make a bore in the hole out there a little bit. same thing. We're going to do the same thing with this. We're going to put it in there and just kind of water.
Okay, all I'm really trying to do, since this is balsa, is, is I'm trying to make a comb there is what I'm trying to do. Just a nice little round comb. And that bulb is going to sit right there in that hole. Please, please, please sit right there in that hole. Right. Let me get this thing somehow where I can hold it. So I'm trying to go up through here. I think I got to go through that first frame first with the wire. So it's a little difficult to get it through there and hold the bulb. Got it fitting right in that hole. Now, I tried to get my one on the other side pointed downward a little bit. I like for mine to be pointed downward a little bit. But I might have to take this back out again. Right balsa, I mean a uh, foam, you can just kind of put a little pressure on it. I'm gonna put a little pressure on it from the back side and have my bulb and let me check my angle. Let me see if I can see the angle on the other one. Yep, that's looking good. You, you, you're just kind of giving it a good guess there that you, that you got one bulb. In the right angle. Now let's see if my super glue is still good. I've been using super glue instead of epoxy. But it kind of sealed the wood. Yep, there it comes. I'm just going to put a little bit, just enough there to hold the bulb. And I'm going to see if I got just enough pop epoxy. I'm just trying to get a seal coat on that wood with the super glue.
сегодня встает мне. I just tried to get my bulb just back there far enough to where it'll be a good and level on the wing edge. But when I put the cover on it, it won't hit the bulb before it gets to the wing. And the cats are raising cane today. Now, I'm not going to put all the rest of the glue in. I just want to show you. All right, the bulb's glued in. I don't know if I can get it in an angle where you can tell if the bulb is pointed downward because remember, your wing is kind of, it's, it's going to be sitting on the ground when it pointed upward and your bulb's going to be pointed straight up in the air instead of down on the runway is what I think. So I put mine in a little bit of an angle where it'll, when the wing is up, it'll be still looking downward a little bit. I'm gonna let that dry. Glue my other bulb. And now I've lost the cover. Where is the cover? The cover is clear. It's hard to see. It's a round cover. Well, anyway. Here is the the uh, marker light cover. I'm going to put the other one up there. I can't find it. Well, I'll have to find it. But I can show you the other wing that I'm done with. If I can get this one just to stay stable here. And not let that bug move. Okay, pilots, I'm installing navs and landing lights on my uh, Seagull Mosquito. I'm out.